In this video, I'd like to explain the differences between connectors when doing full contour bridges. Uh, if I go ahead and go to bridge restoration, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a bridge, an anterior bridge from tooth number uh, 22 to 24 with a pontic of tooth number 23. Okay. So the very first thing that we're going to do is bridge restoration from right to left, crown, biogenic individual. We're going to go ahead and choose our abutment teeth, tooth number 22 tooth number 24, then we'll choose our pontic tooth, pontic, biogeneric individual, tooth number 23. Okay, so let's just say for instance that this is all that you do and you don't do anything else. We'll go ahead and choose our materials, say select materials, say we're doing a full contour Emax bridge, and we'll hit OK. Now let's go ahead and move to the model. Okay, so in the model phase, we, we have our bridge uh, abutments and pontic uh, marginated. So let, let's go ahead and get our proposal. Uh, we went through these parameters uh, at a different time, so uh, we don't need to go through all the different parameters. Let's just calculate the restoration so I can show you what happens. So restoration's calcula calculating. It's going ahead and, and just pretty much looking as if it's going to be fine. And this is the proposal that you get. You know, a very nice uh, proposal for a bridge, but you can see that you get these actual connectors, uh, real broad connectors placed in between the teeth. That's because the software decides to default itself to the anatomic connector, not the intersecting connector. This is an anatomic connector. Uh, the, there is advantages of anatomic connectors. Uh, certainly you can go ahead, move to the bottom, click on a connector, which will turn it pink, tell you the cross section of the connector, and also you can right click and you have many different connector tools to edit those which we'll discuss in different videos. Now if you make this mistake, and a lot of people will, and you don't want to lose your proposal, you very simply have to go back to administration. You want to go ahead and click edit restoration, choose your connectors, click on intersection, double click the two connectors so they're now they're vertical lines so now we switch a connector to intersecting hit OK go back to design and they're gone so now this is the difference between an anatomic and intersecting connector this is the type of the connector that you would really like to have and again what we'll go through in different videos is you still need to have proper connectors between the two so if I double click on the connector it'll tell me what my cross section is. Uh, I just made a mistake. You have to have cursor details attached to it to get whatever the connector cross section is. We're only at 4.1. If we go ahead and we click on the other one, we're at 4.19. So we have a little bit of work to do on these connectors. Obviously, if you hit a tooth, you're not going to read the connector, just the fissure height, the height, and the thickness when it's over the top. So. That is your difference between connectors, so in choosing the restoration to start over, what I would do is let's go ahead and delete this restoration, hit OK. Now if I was going to designate the bridge from 22 to 24 with intersecting connectors, we're going to choose bridge, crown, biogeneric individual, 22, 24, pontic, 23, connector, intersection, click on both the connectors, select the material, Ivoclar, Emacs, OK, and then we're ready to go. So that's how, that's the difference between the connectors and uh, you'll need to understand that moving forward for full contour bridges. Another thing you can do if you want to verify you have things correct is you can move your cursor down to the bottom. You'll see if you put the cursor it'll tell you you've got crown biogeneric, if you put it over the top, it'll actually tell you the design mode of your connector, which in this case is intersecting, intersecting. Okay, that's it for connectors. If you have any questions, always ask.